There is no guarantee for success, but there are ways to get closer to it when you do the right things. Who you surround yourself with is just as important as what you do. Finding the right people, the right classes, the right activities, and taking the right tests are all decisions that shape your future. Find out more today on Destination University with Dr. Cynthia Cologne. Dr. Cologne and her guests will give you the tips you need, whether you're a student, parent, or educator. Now, here is your host, Dr. Cynthia Cologne. Welcome to Destination University. We're running a special series called 30 Teens and 30 Dreams, following students who've been admitted to college and they're dishing all the scoop on what went right, what they might do differently if they had to do it over again, and giving you the behind the scenes truths. If you are a college bound teen or a champion of one, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Today, we're going to meet Sawyer. Sawyer hails from Washington, as in the state of Washington. And he's got all kinds of coolness factors about him, including a directed, he directed an award-winning student play. So you're gonna see just how cool Sawyer is in just a minute. Before we jump in with Sawyer, let me tell you about our hot tip from our friends at bigfuture.org. Bigfuture.org is free, it's mobile friendly, and it's a personal guide to college admissions. That's where you'll head over and you can explore careers, plan for college, and learn how to pay for college. And speaking of paying for college, you definitely want to create an account, which is completely free. And if you follow the different steps, especially if you are a current junior, if you do one of the steps, which is to just build your list with six colleges, you become eligible for their monthly giveaways. Monthly giveaways include several $500 scholarships and two $40,000 scholarships every month. So head on over to bigfuture.org and set up your account today. All right, Sawyer, can you hear me okay? I can hear you. <laughs> oh, and I can hear you too. All right, well, let's jump in. All right, well, we wanna just start by, um, why don't you share a little bit about yourself being from Washington. Most of the students that we deal with are from California, but we do have students from across the country. So share with us where you live, the kind of school you go to, anything that you like to share about yourself. All right, sure thing. Well, so yeah, I live in uh, up in Bothell, Washington. It's in the Seattle area. And up here, well, I go to Bothell High School and it's really cool. Uh, our mascot's the Cougars and it's a really fun area. We got like this huge theater in there known as the North Shore Performing Arts Center. And it's just a blast to perform in there. We get like everything. And it's a good campus. So <laughs> what, sort of like what came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Did you go to this school knowing that you loved theater and they had these cool resources? Or did you go to the school and fall in love with theater because they have the cool resources? Ooh, that's a tough one. So... It actually was like years and years ago when I first really got into theater. And it just sort of was happenstance that the school had all the resources. Um, I was originally planning to go there for like football and sports and all that, because they have a good program for that too. But then I just moved on to theater and I just had my calling. Uh, you definitely did. So we talk about... Um your coolness factor? What's something that makes you stand out from other applicants? Like, what is your thing, your passion project? We call it coolness project. So this, is, tell us about this, you know, award-winning play that you did. Tell us about that. How did that come to be? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> so the little, the play that I did was for our um, big school event known as Drama Fest. And it's this big student-led sort of directed thing where our big school like teacher miss glass gives a bunch of students all the power to like go out and make their own play and cast people and it was great so what happened is that like i got my big old cast right and i just acted everything i gave them rehearsals i gave them lines i found the script for them and then i just well worked with all of them to bring out their best and they did wonderfully we did the best out of everybody there, and we even went on to the Washington State Thespian Festival and won a superior award for our whole school. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it was, was awesome. Crazy! Wow, that's amazing. Now, how many how many schools go to that that next level of competition? Ooh, 
Well, the next level, um, it's pretty much every school in Washington goes up to this event in order to, like, get there and just act and have fun. And so it's a lot of schools. Like, it's pretty much everyone in our region. Wow, wow. Oh, yeah, my gosh. And the Superior Award is pretty much the blue ribbon of standards. Like, that's good. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. That's, and it's just, it must have felt so good. So, um, is, so theater became something that you really enjoyed doing. And are you, how is that going to be incorporated into uh, college? Oh, well, how it's going to be incorporated into college is I'm planning on... I'm planning on minoring and probably and maybe majoring in theater arts as I think that it's just so tied to me that I'd have a blast no matter where I go. <laughs> and I might not go to truly into theater arts. I might do like law or I might do another activity or some other big boisterous thing, but it's connected with me and I just love it fully. And so the colleges I went to were really narrowed in on that aspect. I love it. Okay, good. Well, and and once you find something that you really enjoy doing, you, you you know you try to stay doing it as long as possible until you know maybe something else you know comes up. Um, okay, so I want to ask you, you know, the college admission process is is, uh, is a journey, and so the two sides of the coin are, you know, what did you do right? What what, it, what advice would you give to others um, you know, that are watching that are younger? Uh, and if you had to do this all process over again, what? What, if anything, would you do differently? So you can start on either side of that point. Ooh, I think I want to do what I would rather do differently because the biggest regret I had was the stress. And we get sort of crowded with so many different options that oftentimes everybody just freezes up or panics or thinks that like, oh God, school's trying to crush me down. It's all going down. It's all going downhill. But it's... It's all baloney. It's trying to make you all stressed out, and it's really intended for that. And the best thing that you can just do is just dismiss everything, find the schools that are in your area that are good, and just go with that. Just go with what you got, go with something simple, and just stop with all the stress, because just getting an application out is all that matters. <laughs> yeah. And and getting an application out is is a lot of work. I mean, this is not a process for the faint of heart, you know. So it it is a lot of work. So I like what you're saying. You just keep it simple. Don't overthink it. Analysis paralysis, maybe a little bit too much of that, right? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. I know and so many students. Oh, well, sorry. Okay. oh, I just know so many students who are thinking of taking a gap year because well you know, schoolwork and everything is just pressing them down and they can't get their application out. But just getting anything out is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's worth it to go to college. <laughs> right, no, no, you're right. And it, and it it's very overwhelming in the fall of your senior year. You're balancing so many things. Um, so I get it, it's, it's, it's not easy, like I said. Um, okay, so that's what you would do differently. What what did you do right that you would share with others that to follow in your path? Ooh, the right things I think was getting my letters of recommendation early. Letters of recommendation are where you go to teachers that you're very connected with, say like my drama teacher, Miss Glass, or like my finance teacher, Mr. Lee, or another teacher like that. And you go up to them and ask for them to do a letter of recommendation and they'll do it. And if they know you, if they like you, they'll make it up, they'll make it all quick, and you can just put it on the application and it's golden now. Like, schools really love a letter of recommendation and so just getting that is like great. Um, as for like other details too, like, I found that it's mostly good to not focus too much on the classes, just as long as you get a good grade. Like, take AP classes, take other resources like that, but only for stuff that you really like doing. Like, don't just take um, AP Calculus 7 because you think you're going to get a bonus out of the credit. No. Just do what you love. That's what's important for AP. 
Oh, I love that. Well, and if you do what you love, usually, you know, good grade follows and you, you are interested in this subject. You want to learn more about the subject. Um, I also love what you had to say about teacher letters of recommendation. Now, I don't think there's any, been any other student who's talked about this, but you had teachers or adults in your life that you had uh, nurtured relationships with and you felt good enough, you know, not every student, um, I think, builds teacher relationships. So building those relationships because you, you don't know when you're going to need them for your letters of rec. So good for you. Good for you for doing that. Um, okay. So walk us through um, your, if you want to, uh, we can do a sort of a drum roll, but I want to hear sort of where you've chosen to go or you can share where you've been admitted and, and then we can also share how you came to the decision where you're, where you're going. So you want to do a drum roll now? All right, sure. I'll get my drum. Okay. I love this guy. I love this kid so much. Here we go. This thing's like five years old. Western Washington University. Western Washington University. Now, yeah. you have to tell us, because you're such a big superstar, you're going to be a big fish in this pond, um, you were, tell us, you were honored with um, several things to, to entice you to go. Mm -hmm. um, Western Washington University was really, I think, the college for me. It has an awesome theater program that has multiple different things for performance, for building, for directing, for everything that I really wanted. It's got a nice and comfy campus over there, some good pre-law stuff, some good sociology stuff, some good stuff for everything I like, and some good people too. So it's just like a very good, comfy, and in their campus. Also, it's home to the Vikings, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is very cool. And you were, you're, you were admitted as an honors student, and you'll be in the honors college. So share with others what is that what does that mean if you're if i'm a freshman or sophomore i don't know what that means you know and that i should be maybe thinking about that so so the honors college is a bit different from like an honors program or something like that it's not that it requires community service honors colleges usually require you to just have a very in-depth and out there experience at high school maybe you did an honors program here maybe you did a few extracurriculars here but honors colleges are just a better, more in-depth experience of college as a whole. They give you more resources, more time. They talk with you more. They have like professors who really care and students who are more invested in college. And it just seems to be a place for, for like a lot more learning can happen, a lot more fun, in-depth learning. and. It just seems really good compared to like some of the other systems I've seen. It's just fun. <laughs> right. And there, there's added benefits and bonuses. Like you said, you, you get access to different professors, you get access to different courses. And so it just gives you a little bit of an extra resource through your time there. So mm -hmm. uh, that's amazing. It's not, it's not even really that much harder. It's just from what I've heard more in depth. So it won't exactly be like you're getting a giant workload every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah, so good. All right. Well, um, get get your mom and dad. All right, I'll go get them. Hi. Hi. This is the time we already did the drum roll, and he announced where he's going. So, um, I like to say, "Mom and Dad, what would you like to say to your son?" Congrats! Super proud. <laughs> And especially since, you know, the, it's the school you really wanted. Oh, I didn't even notice you're wearing your shirt. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I know. It's Mom, super cool. That's uh, super cool. Mom, can you believe uh, Sawyer's off to, to college? I know. It's, it's, it's exciting. I think it's a really good fit for him, though. I think he's ready. He's definitely ready. He's definitely ready. <laughs> I mean, we talked about so many things and his award-winning play and, and what he's found uh, at West, Western is just seems perfect for him. He's going to continue, be able to continue theater there too. So yeah, other thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so super proud. And uh, for full disclosure, everyone, those of you who are watching or listening, uh, Sawyer's dad and I went to high school together. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> 
And we just looked like we just graduated like five years right. ago. <laughs> five minutes ago, that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad that we, we got together and, and reconnected and sorry, it was an honor to work with you. I just loved working with you. Such a, such a treat for sure. For sure. Super proud. Please stay in touch. Okay. Hang on one second. I'm going to do the wrap up and then we'll all wave goodbye. Okay. All right. Cool. I know. Don't you just love this kid? I just fell in love with him. All right, everyone. Well, if this episode has in any way fueled your confidence or helped build your dreams, please share this episode with three people in the next 30 minutes. And how could you not love Sawyer? Hello. Uh, those of you who are parents, please join us on our Facebook group, Destination University with a Y-O-U, because the destination is not university. The destination is you. And for those of you who are interested in SA Camp, SA Camp is officially open. You can join, go head on over to my website, drcynthiacolon.com forward slash SA Camp. Oh, that is all I have. Sawyer is here in our last week of our special series. And we thank you for joining us. So everyone wave goodbye. Uh, wherever you are, may you have a happy and sunny day. Thank you so much for listening this week to Destination University. Be sure to join Dr. Cynthia Colon again and get one step closer to your success. 